Hi again, this is Rick from pseudosamurai.com and I'm back with another Citrus tutorial. And today we're going to try and make a full screen uh, Citrus game. Okay. Uh, now the, the first thing we have to think about though is um, up to this point I've only been doing um, web-based projects, right? So when we make a new uh, action script project here, we get this choice between web and desktop. Right, and so far we've been making flash player, flash player um, applications. But uh, if I wanted to go to mobile, or if I wanted a desktop application, I would want it to run in Air. And um, you can do full screen things in Flash Player, um, but it's limited because of the security problems um, that could that could come with having a browser based full screen application. So. Um, for a web thing, you might fill the browser, but I wouldn't recommend going entirely full screen. Uh, but like for a desktop application, you'd want it to go full screen, like a like a normal video game or something. So, um, so we'd set up the project in the desktop, and we'd do it exactly the same way as as before. And that's what I've done. I've made it. Uh, if you look over here, you can look at my file structure. Um, I have my default package, my levels, my sprites. Um, you know, just like a normal, a normal setup. Okay, uh, here's the folder level sprites. You know, I just have my one level, and then I have my my sprites. So, um, okay. So, th if I were to try and run this right now, right? If I go up here and try and run this, we get an error uh, that's not embedded properly. Okay, so that's a problem. All right, so what I need to do is, if you look over here, right beneath, right beneath the default package is our um, our full screen app, XML. Okay, so we could jump down in here, and we go down to line 104, and we'll see this uh, render mode. Okay, so the line above it tells you the different render mode options, whatever. But basically, we need to set the, we'll uncomment it, and we need to set it to direct. Okay. And we save that and close that. Now, we should be able to run our uh, our app here. Okay. So there's my guy, and it's and it's running. Uh, like always, it's running about half speed because of the capture software. So it doesn't look very good. But without the software running, it uh, it goes full speed. Okay. All right, so um, that's great. Normal project. So how are we going to make this thing full screen? Okay. Um, before I get into that, one thing I'll note: uh, I just change this uh, the the architecture of my uh, my app real quick. So it might look a little different, but right here, what I'm doing is making sure that there's a stage, essentially. So if there's a stage, I init. But if there isn't a stage, um, I listen and wait until it's been added to the stage. Um, and then on my add stage, I, I remove the listener and then I just call the init function. So this is just good practice in flash coding to make sure there's a stage before you uh, initialize your, your program. But the rest is the same. I, I set up Starling, I create my loader, I listen for uh, when it's here. Okay. Um, the other thing is, when I install it, um, however, however you, you install the software or, or, or um, you know distribute your game or whatever, you need to make sure that your architecture is just right. Okay, um, it's probably good practice to actually set up a, a an I/O error listener. Okay, and that's because if the level isn't in the right spot or something. It'll throw an error and it'll break your game. Okay, but these are just uh, some things to think about in the future. Okay, so for right now, though, we uh, we just want to get full screen, right? So first thing I'm going to do is just say stage dot um, display. Whoops, display state. Okay, and I'm going to set that equal to stage display state dot Full screen interactive. Okay, good, just like that. Okay, 
So if we run that, boom, everything's full screen. How awesome is that? Pretty easy. Okay. Um, now, if the user uh, were to uh, hit escape, what will happen is it will go down to the screen right here. Okay. So that's cool, but I lose my camera targeting. Um, but the reality is, in, in like a, a game you're running that's full screen, you'd want to control the escape. Okay, so if they hit escape, um, you want to be able to control that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to listen, right? So um, we'll say stage .add event listener. And then we're going to listen for um, a keyboard event, keyboard down, right? And then we'll say on escape. And we'll generate that uh, handler right there. Okay. Change U to E. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say if E dot uh, key code is equal to 27, that's the escape key. Okay. You could also, um, you know, call it through the get key or whatever, but 27 is fine for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say e dot prevent default. Okay. So now if I run it, okay, and I hit escape, nothing happens. Okay. But that's not good uh, <laughs> uh, game program. You're just going to frustrate your user if they're going to have to figure out how to escape this thing, you know, alt tab or something. So um, what you would want to do in here is probably set up a, um, you know, some sort of state or something that pulls up a, a UI where they can exit or save the game or, or something along those lines or pause the game. Uh, it's really up to you, but you, you definitely want to handle this this um, situation. Okay, uh, I prevent the default because I don't want them shrinking the screen and, and sort of making everything not work right, but. Um, you know, I still want them to be able to escape. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to um, quit the game. If they hit escape, it's over, game over, right? So I'll just say native um, application dot uh, native application <laughs> dot exit, right? And now we'll run it full screen. Everything's cool. If they hit escape, it is, it quits the level. It's done. Game over. Okay. So um, that's just a basic way to set up a full screen um, game. Uh, it's not not too not too tricky, really. But you just want to make sure you handle certain certain events in that in that situation and, and set set up the um, the desktop app rather than um, the. Uh, web browser. So uh, with mobile, the it would be a little bit different. You'd want to do things a little differently, and this doesn't really account for um, you know multiple resolutions and things like that. So there, this topic could be very um, very in depth. But for right now, I just wanted to just kind of cover a basic: how do I get my my app to run full screen? Okay, so. And and that's the that's the magic right there. Just uh, stage dot display state equals uh, stage display state full screen interactive right there. And then uh, dealing with your escape key. Okay, so preventing it from shrinking the screen, and in this case, just exiting. Okay, it's important to remember to uh, you know change the render mode. And uh, that's it. So hopefully this was helpful and. Um, I want to thank Tyler for asking the question on my uh, my blog on how to how to do full screen. Um, hopefully, this gets them started. Uh, the The last thing I'll mention is um, you want to make sure your level is big enough, right? Otherwise, you're going to deal with scaling issues and things like that. Right now, it's not scaling or anything, 
but if my level wasn't as big as my screen, uh, it might appear as like a small window inside of, of this full screen and uh, the background would just be there. So anyway, uh, hopefully that helps and um, I'll see you guys next time. Keep on coding.